Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Kingdoms. I hope you guys are having a great day. I am back from my trip to Wisconsin. Uh, life is good. I am excited to be back home uh, and recording videos again. Uh, today, I want to potentially go to the end, maybe. <laughs> I don't know if we'll have enough Eyes of Ender uh, to make it happen, but I'd like to try... Uh, and see if we can make this work. Um, I do have, I, I did send, spend some time between episodes grinding in the nether to get some gas tears. Um, and I think, I mean, 16 is quite a few, but I don't know if that's going to be enough since we also have to fill a portal, since presumably this is going to take us to a different end portal than uh, the one we used in Season 1. But let's just grab a couple things to take with us. We'll grab that. We're gonna want a little bit of food as well, I think. Uh, a bit more food than what we have right now, at least. Uh, let's see, we should have a fair amount of steak. Yeah, lots of steak from killing all those cows. So we should be good there. And then last but not least, I should probably bring my super bow from season one, which is actually kind of interesting because that bow you can't actually get in the game anymore. Check this thing out. Power 5, Mending, Unbreaking 3, Flame, and Infinity. And the reason that I brought it with me is because as of, I think it was Minecraft 1.12, you can no longer put Infinity and Mending on the same bow. Uh, and this, this was created. This bow was made before that change was implemented into the game, and therefore I can still have a bow that has both Infinity and Mending. So uh, pretty cool. Uh, I'd like to take advantage of that if I can. Let's make some Eyes of Ender, and we're going to see it goes out to sea. Of course it goes out to sea. <laughs> Great. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Well, we should also grab some blocks with us as well, at least just a couple. Um, hmm. This could be problematic. Um, let's grab all of that. Hopefully... It doesn't go too far out to sea. Let's see if I have a boat. Do I have a boat? I think I do. I have a boat. Okay, so maybe... Uh, I'm, I'm really hoping that the, the stronghold is not directly in the middle of the ocean. That would be unfortunate. Um, but that's okay. So let's grab our boat. Let's head off in this direction. We know it's this way somewhere, and I'm just going to travel this way for a little while until I see, like, an island or land or something. And we're going to hope that this does not take us to the end. Um, <laughs> or does not, you know, spawn the stronghold in the middle of the ocean, because that's that would involve a lot of swimming and uh, kind of a pain. Um, if, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, uh, one thing I want to announce real quickly... Before I forget, mostly because I'm just worried that I'm going to forget. Also, there happens to be a village right here. That's pretty sweet. Um, one thing I want to announce before I forget. Uh, on my second channel, and yes, for those of you who don't know, I do have a second channel. It's called Wells After Dark. It's where I play games that are not necessarily family-friendly. I am still family-friendly myself, commentary-wise, but the games may not be. Um, I'm starting a brand new series over there, Total War Warhammer 2. Uh, the previous Total War... Warhammer, the, the first one, I actually played on this channel, and I enjoyed it very much, and I've been a huge Total War fan, like, forever, uh, so I'm very excited, um, but that's gonna be on the second channel, that's starting today, if you, if that's something that you are interested in, if you watch the first Total War series, or if you want to see what it's all about, as I said, there's a link to that channel in the description of the video, uh, you can also find a link to it in the recommended channels section of my uh, channel page. So I just wanted to announce that real quick because otherwise I'm gonna just totally forget about it in space and half of you will not even realize that that is happening. So there you go. Um, anyway, end portal, stronghold. We're gonna keep traveling in this direction. I'm hoping that these ender pearls last us until we get to the stronghold because we need four ender pearl or we need four eyes of ender. Oh. <laughs> We need four eyes of ender. That was a little weird. Uh, four eyes of ender to make the end crystals so we can respawn the dragon. And we need potentially up to 12 eyes of ender 
uh, to open up the stronghold, it, like the, the end portal itself. So it's going to be one of those things where, oh, and we just lost one. Um, so we've got 16 pearls. Now we're down to 15, uh, including the three that we've already made into Eyes of Ender. And I hope that'll be enough. I guess we'll find out. I'm going to look for a while for the stronghold. I'll be back with you shortly. All right, guys, I am back. It's sunrise. And I think I've found the location of the portal. It appears that right somewhere like right around. Let's get rid of this stupid skeleton before he sees me and starts shooting at me. There we go. Oh, no, I didn't mean to throw all of them. Okay, well, it appears that this is the location. Uh, like right about here or so. And I accidentally threw all the portals because I was trying to eat. Uh, okay, well, it was like right here. So what we're going to do, let's just kind of mark this out like so, so we can find it later, right? We'll do something like that. I'll even make like a little bit of a a noob marker, right? With the, <laughs> that way it'll be visible from the air with an elytra if I fly back over here. Here's the coordinates. Uh, I traveled quite a distance, quite a ways. I was actually a little concerned when I saw the savannah because I know our old uh, end fortress, our, our first stronghold from season one was basically in a desert. <laughs> so I was, where, I was very concerned that this was going to be the same one. Uh, and actually, there's a desert right there, so it is actually possible that this is... I'm not exactly sure where that one's located. But either way, let's just kind of work our way down here. And we'll just kind of dig our way down, and hopefully we'll run into a stronghold. Since it's it's got to be, like, right around here somewhere. Ah, yep, there it is. Look at that. We have found our way, and it appears it's also right next to an abandoned mine as well. Okay. So, cave spiders are a thing. Um, also, there's a lot of bad stuff here. Wow, this is a really kind of disjointed uh, fortress. Okay, so I want to deal with the cave spiders for sure. At least. Let's just break that. There we go. And now we've got stuff everywhere that wants to kill me. Lovely. This is great. Uh, okay. It's fine. It's fine. Get out of my face. We're just gonna... pick off these guys a little bit at a time. Alright. I think we're good. Okay. Let's make... There's a cave spider over here. Yep. Ah, he got, he got to me before I could stop him. That's alright. We're fine. The poison's gonna go away fairly quickly. And let's just go like so. Make ourselves another stack of torches. And then we can torch up some of this stuff. Now, th this is going to be a weird stronghold because there's like, like this, this is a minecart. Minecart chest, but everything's weird because things spawned in bizarre ways. I, I don't know. I have no idea what's going on here. Uh, what can I get rid of? Seeds? Yes. Chainmail armor. Don't need it. Um, gravel, these extra stone, eh, we could just get rid of a lot of this stuff, in fact. Uh, I want to have a stack of blocks with me, just in case. Uh, that I can do away with as well. I want to, I want to check out these chests, because, and I know I just picked that back up, but it's fine. Uh, I want to check out these chests, though, because we could, we could find some good stuff in here, you know? There could be, like, mending books or something. Horse armor is, is okay. Uh, don't really need the iron armor. This is going to be a hard fortress to explore <laughs> There's so because it's all interwoven with this uh, stronghold. Let's just break this door just to get it out of our face. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is going to be a weird one. Okay, um, we'll figure it out. We'll we'll make it work. Hopefully this fortress, this stronghold. Oh, I see the portal. Hello, portal. Look at that. Okay, good, 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 good. So, here's our, our portal, um, silverfish spawner, just, just break, thank you. Okay, get rid of these guys, we'll fill in the lava, fill in the lava underneath like so, put a torch, put a torch, 
What a torch. We'll just torch up this whole little portal room. And then as is tradition, I would love to make a staircase to the surface, like right here. Uh, and that's a silverfish spawner, but we can, we have a silk touch pick, so we can get through that pretty easily. And naturally, it comes out in the ocean. Okay. Um, that's fine. We can, we can make this work. We're just going to have to kind of work around it a little bit. So we'll do something like that. We'll go here. I mean, we're probably not going to have enough blocks to do this properly. In fact, we're definitely not going to have enough blocks to do this properly. I did not realize it was that deep underwater. But the big thing is I just need to be able to find it, right? Like, that's the important thing. As long as I can find the staircase, then we can go up and down it as we see fit. Uh, and I think what we'll do is just block that off temporarily. There we go. That'll work. Okay, now I can get up and down if I need to. Uh, I just want there to be a way to get down here a little bit more easily. So, uh, that should be good, and wow, talk about a bad draw as far as, far as the Eyes of Ender go. Like, that's, I actually do not have enough Eyes of Ender. I have enough to make the portal, but not enough to resurrect the dragon. Luckily, there's a lot of Endermen in the end. So, uh, I don't need that many. I need six. We'll do that. And then we'll go one, two, three. Is that a new sound effect? I feel like that's a new sound effect. When was that added to the game? That must be a 1.12 thing. Like I've, I haven't heard that before. That's so cool. That's amazing. How, uh, I've never, I've never seen that before. That's a new sound. I love it. Okay, anyway, I, I digress. I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, let's toss out some of this junk that we don't want or need. Um, I'd really like to take the blocks with me, just because you never know if we're going to need those. Uh, I think this is probably good. Let's jump into the end. Okay, here's our end. Now, yes, there's an Enderman farm. Right here, from season one. I really want to build a new Enderman farm. Honestly. Like, this is okay. In fact, before we resurrect the dragon and kill a bunch of Endermen and all this other kind of stuff, let's go take a look at this Enderman farm. And I'll show you kind of what the deal is with this thing. So, this Enderman farm, this is uh, a design... I don't think it was actually designed by Doc M, but it was showcased by Doc M. Uh, this is... Uh, Basically, the first Enderman uh, farm that I'm aware of that used an Endermite to lure Endermen in. And it works. You know, it's not bad. It's not a bad farm by any stretch of the imagination. However, the downside is you have this whole giant killing area here where you got to kill the Enderman. And there's no collection mechanism for all the Ender Pearls. Now, you can see we've got a, a couple of Ender Pearls here from Season 1. Just a few. But I don't want to use this as our primary source of XP. I will, I might use it like once. Let me know, you'll have to let me know what you guys think on that. Uh, I, I do really kind of want to maintain a separation between season one and season two, because otherwise, like, what's the point of restarting? Um, but at the same time, this thing is perfectly valid. However, I do want to make a new Enderman farm this season, because the thing is... We have this working Enderman farm, but as I said, the collection, there's no collection system for Ender Pearls, so it gets to be kind of tedious, you know, throwing out all the pearls that you have. You're like, okay, well, I have all these extra Ender Pearls, let's just, you know, uh, you gotta manually dump them. And the Endermen have this large collection area where they fall, like a large killing area, so you gotta run back and forth and get them all. I'd like to design, I actually like to design my own Enderman farm for once. Uh, instead of using somebody else's design. It's going to be based on this. Uh, it'll be very similar to this in a lot of ways, but it's going to be a bit different. Uh, and I think it'll be really good. Uh, if we can we can do it properly, I think uh, it should be pretty sweet. So anyway, 
let's go ahead and make um, a crafting table. We'll just toss that guy down right here. We need four blaze powder or four eyes of ender. And then if I remember correctly, the recipe is like this. Yes, it is. Okay, we got it. Good. Uh, and then we should basically be good to respawn and kill the dragon, which is pretty sweet. Uh, okay. Now, we need to make it up here first. I haven't actually been up in this area in, like, forever. <laughs> it's been a while. But... Let's see if we can make this work. So one goes here, one goes here, one goes here, and one goes there. Yeah, there we go. We got the dragon respawning. Also, before I forget, um, I believe that's the dragon sound. Hostile creatures has already turned way down. Okay, good. Just because the dragon is so disproportionately loud. I may actually edit my texture pack to try and rebalance the sound, like the volume levels of some of the sounds within the game, because that's something you can you can modify sounds in the resource pack. So I'm thinking that might actually be a good idea. Just basically rebalance the stuff so that like certain sounds are not unbelievably louder than others, because in this game, like some things are just way, way too loud. Anyway, that was an achievement. We've got the dragon. First step, of course, we need to take out the crystals. Hi, dragon. Wow, he hits pretty hard, considering how good the armor I'm wearing right now is. Uh, a little too high. A little too low. Up just a tad. Nailed it. Way too low. Wow, that thing's like way up there. And I didn't bring any uh, bottles for dragon's breath. I just realized that. Oh no, I've got three. I have three glass bottles. Where did I get three glass bottles? Oh, I got him from killing a witch on my travels. Aha! Okay, so we'll be able to get a tiny amount of dragon breath. It's not going to do us a ton of good. Uh, but we're going to be able to live a little bit. For whatever we might want to use it for. If nothing else, I think it's kind of a cool thing to, like, put on a sign. I think it looks pretty cool. Oh, come on. Too low. Up a little. There we go. Got it. Next one over here. Still too low. Okay, we need to eat food. Or I'm going to be dead. Do I have an Enderman chasing me right now? No. No, I don't. Okay, we're fine. Let's make sure we're... Oh, uh, it's the dragon's breath that's getting me. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not concerned yet. There we go. Another crystal down. I feel like that's all the crystals except for these two. I think. You need to be careful when we're looking around. These Endermen can... It'd be pretty nasty. All right, so now we pull out our blocks. And let's go up here first. Get up there. Uh, break that. A little bit higher. Break that one. And that one. All right. So now we have a way to shoot that. That'll be one crystal. Eat a little more food. There we go. Way too high. Oh, am I in the dragon's breath? No. I don't know what was hitting me there, but... Probably the dragon some... It was the dragon somehow. I just don't know exactly how, but whatever. Eat a little more food. Recover health. There we go. Hope the dragon doesn't knock us off the platform, because that's always a terrible thing. When that happens, there we go. One, two. Uh, okay, well, he got me. But I was able to open up a hole that we can shoot through first. So that should be all the crystals. Now we can focus on the dragon. Come on, dragon. Oh, I missed. I thought that was spot on. Come here, you. Fire. There we go. Power five bow. Doing. Oh no, there's one crystal left. I didn't even see it. Oh, we nailed it on the first attempt. That was beautiful. All right, let's get in there. Get behind him. We'll take him down with our sword a bit. That should do some good damage for it. Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. We're getting in there doing some damage. All right, back away. Oh, and remember, we have we want to get this dragon's breath. 
So let's bottle that up. There we go. All right, we got some Dragon's Breath as well. You need a mint is the name of that achievement? That's kind of awesome. That's an amazing name for an achievement. I'm really surprised that he hasn't blown away yet. There we go. Now he has a little more food. I, I, let's get these torches out of our offhand. And let's not stand in the middle of the Dragon's Breath. If we can avoid it, I'm going to just throw this torch down right here. It's a single torch taking up a full inventory slot by itself. Come on. Almost. There we go. A little more. If we can just get him to land again. It'd be cool if you could, like, ref reflect his uh, his shots back at him like uh, you can with ghast fireballs. That'd be pretty cool. Maybe a little bit overpowered, but still, that's not an easy task to do, so. Although it is much easier with air arrows than it is with the sword. Come on. Almost. Uh, like, next time he lands, he's dead. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. Come on. Oh, well, no, yeah. There we go, he's landing. This should be the end of the dragon right here. We can just, wow, that hurt. We can just get behind him. And the killing blow. There you go, get wrecked, dragon. You are donezo. Beautiful. Okay, so now we have a ton, an absolute ton of experience lying on the ground. And what I'm gonna do is take off my armor so we can put all of it onto my axe, which is like super, super, super destroyed. <laughs> or at least very close. I want this axe back in at least function order, right? Like it, it took so much damage <laughs> over the course of just chopping down tons of trees that it was almost broken. And I haven't decided yet if I'm gonna make use of that Enderman farm over there to repair our stuff. Now we should have opened up another portal to the outer reaches of the end. Uh, no, not there. This is gonna allow us to get shulker boxes, obviously. Now I didn't bring an elytra with me. And, I, and that is one thing I'm gonna do because I find exploring the end without an elytra to not be fun. I find it to just be tedious and rather boring. So, um, yeah, I will retrieve my elytra to go explore the end, but that's okay. Where is this other portal? Did it not spawn one? I'm not seeing one anywhere. I thought they spawned like in order, but I don't see one anywhere. And this one we know I've already explored because there's like a little platform that goes up to it and everything. Uh, portal? I guess we'll just run around the outer edges and look for one. I'm a little concerned. We should have two portals now. But I don't see one. Portal, where where did you go? Wherefore art thou portal? Did we get horribly ripped off? Is this what happened? Did, it, did the dragon like cheat us and rip us off? Because I feel like I've been around the entire perimeter of this end island and not seen another portal, so... I don't know what the deal is. It couldn't have respawned the same... portal. Hmm. Well... I don't know. There is definitely only one visible portal, so I don't know what the deal is with that, but... Either way... Should be fine, and I believe the last bed we slept in is our own bed. So, when we go back through this portal, we should be back home. We made a note of the coordinates. We're going to have to make a, a nether transportation system to get over there or something, because uh, it's quite a journey. But, yeah. Um, okay. Let's head home. Now that we've killed the dragon, yep, we are back home where we belong. We will sleep. There we go. We have some resources that we can put away. 
So let me get that done. Let me get my resources all put away and I'll be back in a sec. All right, guys, I am back. I've got all my stuff all put away and it's time for us to jump into the comments or question of the day. And this one says, hey, Wells, I've got an idea for you if you uh, don't want to keep grinding for resources before every video. Just get a fan who doesn't even have to be in the video to do it for you before each episode. It sounds bad, but I'm pretty sure any of your fans would love to do it. And that's from Dr. Magic 2003 and this was not the only comment, actually, on the Last Kingdoms episode that said something similar. There were just, uh, a couple of them. And I want to just kind of talk about that. So, um, uh... Every now and again, uh, people will say, hey, just get just get fans to do it for you, or, or you should play more with fans, or, or things like that. And let, let's address fans collecting resources for me in kingdoms first. I think that's actually kind of a terrible idea. <laughs> and the reason for that is, it's a single-player world. The whole purpose of this world is to be my single-player world. And I don't mind grinding, to be honest. I really don't mind grinding for resources, the thing is, uh, the reason that I sometimes talk about grinding for resources is because it takes time. So if I want to do a big project, you know, and I need to grind out all the resources, but I'm backlogging for something and I'm trying to record 16 videos in a day, um, <laughs> a lot of grinding for resources kind of cuts into that time and makes that very hard to do. So it's not that I dislike grinding. It's just that sometimes grinding does get in the way of uh, producing, you know, more content because it's something that has to be done to make this content. Uh, and a lot of people underestimate the amount of grinding that often needs to be done for certain projects. <laughs> um, and that's fine. The other thing with this whole thing is, uh, you know, as I said, it's a single player world uh, and I want it to stay a single player world because that's the whole purpose of Kingdoms for me is that it's my single player vanilla world. And when you bring, uh, fans into it and i hate using the word fans that it sounds so like i, I don't know it, it just sounds weird for me to say fans but when you bring people into it that you don't know personally um when you don't really know anything about them and and all this other kind of stuff it opens up a lot of potential problems like the reason that i don't do series with people who i don't know is because i don't i don't want things to get in the way of making content. Imagine if there was someone who uh, pretended that they wanted to help and really they just wanted to grief and they just griefed the whole world and then I'd have to reset to a backup and uh, that would be more headache than it would be worth and it's just, yeah, it, there's too many potential complications uh, for that sort of thing. And if I was going to have someone else do the work for me, like, easy fix, slash, game mode C. There, now I don't have to do any work. But I don't enjoy playing Minecraft like that. Um, I, I enjoy survival. I enjoy being able to look back at, uh, you know, projects and say, I did that. And I spent the time gathering all the wood for this uh, warehouse. And I built all of this with my bare hands. And, <laughs> you know, that's kind, of the, that's kind of part of the fun of it for me. Uh, I enjoy that. I enjoy that aspect of Minecraft. And I enjoy the sense of accomplishment that you get when you complete a big project in survival mode. Um, I, I mean, if I really just wanted to not do the work myself, I could play in creative, but I, th that, that takes a lot of the fun out of it for me. You know, um, I enjoy survival and that's why I play survival is because I enjoy it. Um, I think YouTube as a whole has very much kind of moved past the point in Minecraft where you have to play survival or people lose their minds. Uh, I think if I wanted to play in creative, I could, and I don't think anyone would really uh, give me too much trouble for it. You know, <laughs> they they would just, uh, people would accept it. Um, but that's not how I, for the most part, enjoy playing Minecraft. Every now and again, you know, I'll get a, I'll get kind of an itch in the back of my head where I'm like, I want to do a creative build. And I'll, you know, do like a Let's Build series. I've had uh, several different Let's Build series building everything from like, the Hall of Edoras in Rohan from Lord of the Rings to building like a, a Nordic village with a Stav church and you know, all sorts of different stuff. And I enjoy that. Um, but for the most part, I enjoy survival. That's how I like to play the game. And uh, that's just my choice. And sometimes that means I got to grind. <laughs> sometimes that means I got to grind, but I'm okay with that. That's part of the fun because then at the end of the day, when you finish a big project, you can look back with a sense of accomplishment 
and you know that all that grinding came into play. So, um, I, I, yeah, I don't want to have other people do my work for me, uh, because that would honestly kill a lot of the fun of Minecraft for me, and I think that it would really hurt the integrity of the series as well. Um, there are very, 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 very few things in, uh, that I would use creative mode for. I would use them for, like, player heads, uh, for, like, the Hall of Patrons, because there's no other way to get player heads. Um, I would use them, I would use creative mode to, like, fix a bug. Like, if, uh, uh, once upon a time, I, I went into the end, and I just didn't spawn on the platform, and I fell into the void and lost all my items... For like, and there, it was just a bug. There was nothing I it, it wasn't any fault of mine. I just didn't spawn on the platform. I just, apparently there was lag or something. This wasn't in Kingdoms. This was in a different world. Um, but apparently I just, something went wrong and I just went into the end. And as soon as I went into the end, I fell into the void and lost all my stuff. I would use creative mode in that situation to replace all of my stuff. Uh, because I, I died through no fault of my own. Very small things like that. I, I very rarely use creative for anything in any of my worlds unless I specifically say so and even in a situation where I do use creative to like replace uh, uh items that were lost due to a bug or something like that I almost always mention it uh it's very very rare that I will actually use creative almost everything you see here is you know done with my bare hands <laughs> through blood sweat and tears but uh but that's how I enjoy to play that's how I enjoy Minecraft that's how I like to play and uh, that's, you know, what I, that's my choice. That's how I like to do it. So I don't mind the grind. Uh, I don't want to have other people do my work for me, but I appreciate the suggestion as always. Unfortunately, guys, we are out of time for this episode. So I'm going to go ahead and call this one right here. My friends, if you enjoyed this video and if you're enjoying kingdoms, you know what to do. Links in the description below, including a link to my second channel where I am starting Total War Warhammer 2 today. So check that out if you're interested. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.